take two. All right, guys, welcome back to another video. As you can tell I'm back at the shop and gonna get me back on the G35. As you can see, I got it warmed up. About to bring it in here in a minute. Um, touch up some more areas. Grape should be good. I'm gonna try and prime these spots today. I'm seeing a little issue here. It's not a big issue, gotta take care of that. And on the front bumper. Man, that's close. Yeah. Pretty much what's gonna be today. Try to finalize everything, throw a primer, and this is where you're sitting at. So I went by the junkyard this morning, and you guys remember talking about the front bumper where those two cracks were popping up because of the bar in the back. So right there and right there. <clears throat> went out to the junkyard this morning, couldn't find any from a G35, but got one from a Juke Sentra and a Maxima. So I'm gonna try them, see if they work. Um, they get close, just use a hacksaw, shave what I have to, I don't have a hot knife, and clean them up, get them back there. Um, they talking to some guys on Facebook, one guy just said just use a uh, pool noodle, came to the shop, told them, and they all looked at me like, bruh, uh, so. so I went to the junkyard. If not, I'd have to wait a week get one shipped to me for the perfect fit. But in the meantime, you know me. I like customizing stuff. So I'm going to try these out, see if they work. If they do, we're in business. All right, so this right here is what keeps putting the crack in the bumper. This point. Um, what it's looking like here, my best bet would be not that one. But this one from let me get you guys. The holes line up perfectly also. So if you see these little tabs are this little thing right here on both sides should pop right in oh, let's see damn like it was made for it the question now is is the bumper pushing out too much I can flip it to where it's up here. That's not going to work. Damn it. This shit fits perfectly, man. But I gotta shave it. Shave it yeah. Right there. It's hard. Uh, I'm just gonna put it in there. You, uh... So, as you guys can see, it fits perfectly in there. But I need to shave off like an inch. I'm thinking. So for trial and error today, I'm just gonna use the DA, sand it down until I get to where I need to be, basically. Let me go to Marco with the Sharpie and get some work done. No! 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 
Wow. Thought I was gonna work done today, but more problems. This was a crack, just a bubble, which means oil or something got on there. So we primed it. So I'm gonna sand it down some 80, put more bondo in there, and do the same with the fenders. So I can remedy that, remedy that situation today and get it over with. Uh, All right, guys. So the uh, sand of the front, I have one piece left on the back that I actually had to put bondo on. I'm gonna sand that down and come in here and we got a couple spots on the hood. It needs to be touched up. Should be three, one, two, and I guess I got the rest of them. Yeah. So just one, two. That needs to be touched up on the hood and I'll see what else I got to do. Alright guys, so now all the sanding is done, um, I'm going to put putty on uh, two areas, um, front and left fender, these uh, little spot filled, rear bumper where I sanded the bondo, that needs to be filled, and I think that is for putty, and I'm going to go ahead and take the front bumper off, DA down the foam, because if you can see where the bumper is pretty much spitting up in front, or sticking up, I should say, right there. You gotta take that foam down about another half inch, so it'll bring the bumper down and hopefully level everything out. So the front split on there also. All right, let me uh, set you guys up, knock this out, and see what else we got we can do. I was hoping one of those two guys would be here and throw a primer, but they're not. So, uh, let me get back to work.
guys. I guess I'm gonna end this video here. Um, not much more I can do. Um, still gotta run the party. I'm gonna do that off camera. I'm waiting for the guys to show up. So what else I need to do so they can throw primer. Um, other than that, hey, appreciate appreciate y'all watching. As always, thank you so much. And don't forget about we got new merch coming out. Hopefully in a week I can show you the design and you guys can really order some help support chat. Alright. Up this and then we got that thing over there. Thank you. If you know what's under that tarp, drop a comment, let me know. And I I got something for you. Alright? So y'all let me know what's under that tarp.